Valentine's Day is once again upon us, and finding a date can be pretty intimidating. Let's examine how this frog finds one. He's dirty. His outfit is ill-fitting, certainly not looking his best. And are those pit stains? Oh dear. He's just lost a potential date and has made matters worse by begging and crying. Why don't you, and Frog here, learn from Kabillion's successful tips? Make sure you look your best before asking out a date. This means looking and smelling good. Check yourself in the mirror. Don't forget to tighten your tie and use your favorite scent. This gentle frog here has chosen Frog's Breath for men. Frog's Breath, just a small spritz, goes a long way. Available at your local pump. Now you're looking good. Now that you were looking and smelling good, let's try that again. When you walk up to a potential date, look confident, keep a positive attitude, and use compliments. To break the ice, try talking about the weather or a current event. Eventually, you'll be able to ask out your date. Congrats, Frog. You've got a date. It looks like you're really trying to impress her with the gifts that you bought. How lovely. Oh my, she seems quite insulted. What went wrong? Frog, are those cleaning supplies you've bought? Cleaning supplies won't reach the heart of anyone. Frog had the right idea of bringing a gift, but let's see what he's brought this time. Oh! Flowers and chocolate. Flowers and chocolate. Available at your local pond. When giving gifts, the classics work the best. Well, Frog, you finally made it to the actual date. But what's this? Your date is on her phone, and you seem to be making awkward conversation. Maybe she's hungry, and the dinner will lighten the mood. <laughs> Just in time. The waiter has brought the food, and... Oh, no. It's dry ramen noodles with a plastic fork? What a terrible food choice. She's walked off and I think it's safe to say you're not getting that second date. Well, you might as well enjoy the food. Let's try this again. This time, Frog and his date are thoroughly invested in their conversation. They've even made a toast. And look, the waiter has brought the food. And it's sushi. How exquisite. That second date must be a sure thing. Well done. Sometimes things don't work out. And it looks like our frog is alone yet again on Valentine's Day. The date was a fail, but that's okay. There is still one way you can end up a winner tonight. Just pick up that remote and change the channel to Kabillion. Kabillion, the perennial favorite. But it seems like something is still missing. Now you look like a real winner. Looks like this Valentine's Day wasn't too bad after all.